So my first uh, my first vehicle uh, is none other than the 1989 Batmobile from 1989 <laughs> Batman. I mean, this was a game changer for the franchise, okay? Before this, the only version of the Batmobile that we had was the one from the, the show, the TV series, which mm -hmm. then, you know, no disrespect to that one. I love me an old school big body. That's, that's cool. But this one took inventiveness to a whole nother level. I mean, in 1989, this Batmobile had accommodations to it that we now see in modern day. It had a reverse uh, a reverse camera. It mm -hmm. could drive itself. Yeah. You could re you know, talk to it, remote location, or take me here, take me there. Oh, you know Anti-theft shield. Anti-theft shield. <laughs> I mean, it had the cocoon. I mean, come on. You know what I'm saying? It had bombs that come out the wheel and a flamethrower that comes out the back because it moves so fast. Okay? <laughs> like, I mean, this thing is it's jet black. It's elegant. It's sleek. That's the perfect crime fighting catching criminal mobile mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying and the way that they they ended up enhancing this design for this film just to recreate not only the batman the franchise but what he drives in was just it was amazing it looks like a bat on the road with the with the fins on it and you know the tinted out windows even the the, the way the, the the he gets in it with that shell opening and he mm -hmm. has to hop in hop yeah. out. you know what i'm saying like i i <laughs> This this is this is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, versions of the Batmobile. There are a lot of them, but I feel like this one is now the prototypical mold for most of the Batmobiles that have been made since this. Mm -hmm. The only one that really kind of separates itself in the same form and fashion, I think, would be the Tumbler. Yeah, every the other crazy, every man. other Batmobile kind of resembles this in some kind of a way. Yeah, Batman was wild. He put this joint on shields and just leave it there, but I bet you uh, Bernice from South Beach towing would have took that oh, she got that <laughs> She got that. She got that, that with, the, with, the, with the shield she on and everything. That, bro. <laughs> that should have had the welder, dog. <laughs> Taking that, man. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's great, man. It's, 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 it, 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 it epitomizes what Batman is or what we've known for him to be. That his vehicles would also be just as prepared and outfitted as he is with his utility yes. belt. Because one of my favorite moments is I don't know if this is the original, um, if it or maybe Batman be, um, returns where he's chases somebody and he's hit, he hits a corner and he throws out the hook and it oh, that's the turn to turn the corner real yeah, quick yeah and it's like you're just like yo this is what what doesn't and this car have dude? that's also yet, yet again <laughs> just like what we were talking about with the ecto one it is constantly mm -hmm. being enhanced mm -hmm. you know what i mean like the, the 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 transformation from the batmobile in batman 89 to batman returns is crazy and that batmobile will end up finding its way on this list as well so i'm not going to deep dive into that one yet i don't know who's going to bring it up we might have to flip a corner do paper rock scissors but it will get some love as well but this one i mean it's it was groundbreaking for the film franchise for this movie and just it was so cool just to watch it i mean when it's driving it looks like it goes about 200 miles mm -hmm. on a bad day yeah you know what i'm saying <laughs> through them gotham city streets which always seem to be wet like it just rains in gotham all the time so the fact that the thing don't spin out on a regular basis is cool too man mm -hmm. love the batmobile love the batmobile yeah.